You should tell us about how many miles we're driving to the first job. A million. So we're getting ready to go mow the first job, but... Which is probably 20 miles from our house. 20 miles from our house. I don't like driving that far anymore, but when we first started our business, we started in the city of Asheville, and then we moved about 20 miles to the south. Now we're just trying to pick up a lot of clients down there, which we have been, so then eventually we'll eliminate these ones up here. Not all of them, because we have a lot of good clients that are in the city. Just the ones that are further north of the city. Right, so this one is North Asheville, right? Yes, but we have clients that are even another 10 miles further than that. So almost 30 miles all the way to them clients. And those clients that want to be scheduled every two weeks, um, you know, we just have weeded them out this year by scheduling every 9 to 12 days. And then next year, if we can pick up eight more weekly accounts this year, which... I don't see a problem doing that. Um, we're gonna strictly, if we get all our returning clients back next year, strictly only do weekly next year, hopefully for most of them. So as of right now, what do we have, 61? 60. 60 now, because we just lost the one. Well, we didn't lose it, she suspended her account. Yeah, while she is home, it's she's just, not on vacation. It's the best one that could be suspended because it's my cheapest account. Right. So it's fine. We weren't heartbroken over it. Those are the ones that we want to eventually weed out. So but they've been with us for eight years now, so... Right. We started in 2010. And I gotta say, out of the 60 accounts we have, I think about 49 of them have been with us for... Uh -oh. oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, would they do lose like their load? No. Sorry, we had to get over to the left lane because somebody on the side like lost the sofa it looked like. And then, yeah? Yeah, and then the police were stopped. But uh, out of the 60 accounts we have, I gotta say about 40, about 45 to 50 have been with us for about seven years now. Seven to eight years. Yeah. So. They, we started late in the season in 2010, like in July or August, right? Yes. And ended that year with about 25 clients. And then um, 2011, when we started, we started April with like 26 clients and then we just grew from there. I think we probably ended that, that season with like... 60 clients yes and then this year to be honest is the first time in I think six years we even tried to advert we're even putting our name out there so we started we don't pay for advertising we um, made sure that our Google page was updated with pictures and our website I did my website by myself on on uh, GoDaddy I use GoDaddy so it's been good and then the rest of our clients are from referrals you know people just um, returning clients and then they refer us to and the, the only future advertisement we want to do is put a wrap on the truck with our name so we can be a rolling billboard and that seems to be the best option long term so all right We'll show you this property before we start. Oh, goodness. Okay, it's 105. Probably by the time we get there and start it, it will be like 115. It'll probably take us until 7 tonight to finish. Hopefully, this one's not too long. This lady actually told us in the beginning of the season she did not want to be scheduled 9 to 12 days. She wanted to be scheduled 14 days. Every 14 days, she didn't want to pay three times a month. And then, when we came at nine days before, it was really long. And then she called us on Friday like we hadn't been here to mow all season. Oh my gosh, let me show you this. Two days we mow. 
all around here. It's not as terrible as it's been. Yeah, I've seen it worse than this too. I mean, it's high, but it's 14 day growth. And th that's why we're getting rid of the 14 days. So it's all of this. All of that back there. And we have all of this. This is definitely our biggest property um, and definitely our hardest one of today. So let's see how long it takes us. What was that? I'm showing proof of as to why we need to get a shore can. I'm not gonna spill any now. No? No, you watch. You wanna be a smart butt? I think I seen some spill. How, oh, how much gas do you think that you waste? Oh my. Oh, this is not efficiency. <laughs> See, you're making me laugh. <laughs> That's why. How, oh, how much gas do you think that you waste? Oh my. Oh, this is not efficiency. <laughs> See, you're making me laugh. <laughs> That's why. Here we are an hour in. It was really long. She has bleeding hearts that have popped up though. You guys know what bleeding hearts are? They're really pretty. Let me show you. See? The little flowers look like hearts. That's why they're called bleeding hearts. So we know that. Peonies are about to bloom too. Mowed all that. Part of the world is up on. Mowed all this. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. So an hour, yeah. not bad. Not bad for being as overgrown. <laughs> yeah. I had to triple cut my side. <laughs> Cause I have a 30 inch and it was leaving big clumps everywhere. Okay, 220 and we're getting ready to start this one right here next to us and then one down the road. Yes. So that will be what, three and four? Yeah. Three and four on a Sunday at two something in the afternoon. Okay, so third and fourth, I get in, I get into the ladies' yard to start mowing. And mind you, it's almost two feet tall. And she comes out, she's standing there. And I go over to her and I say, oh, I'm so glad I get to meet you in person. You I've, never met her? I've never met her in person. Maybe you didn't want to meet her. Um, she said, oh. She said, well, you're really trying to get those three cuts in, aren't you? Did she really say that? Uh-huh. And what did you say? I hope you said something back to her. I said, um. Today's 16 tr days? Trying to get three cuts in. I said, no, that's not what it's about. I said, you know, tell her we're clearly, done. We're done that one. I'm not mowing her. I said, it clearly needs to be mowed. And she said, yes, it does. You know, but I would really prefer next time you not to show up on a Sunday. I said, um, do you think that we want to work on a Sunday? We have four kids at home. Four kids at home. We don't want to work on a Sunday. I said, but it's supposed to rain tomorrow. 
And today, you're at 15 days and it's out of control. You told her that? Yes. I said, um, so when you I get can't home, promise you're you. You're emailing her her bill and you're telling her we're done servicing her account. I don't care. I'm done. I said, I'm done. I, I'm not going back to that account again. I can't promise you that it's not going to be nine days, nine days, and nine days next month. If we continue to get as much rain as we've been getting, then we're going to do it at nine days, nine days, and nine days. No, she not. said, oh, I talked to you know who, and she was worried because she just doesn't want to rake. I'm like, when does she ever have to rake up after we've been there? I said, you know that Carl never leaves a lawn that you guys will have to maintain afterwards. I said, I don't understand why you feel that way. I said, um, it needs to be mowed today. And she said, yeah. And then we just left it at that. And so we'll see. Shit, I went past the road where I was supposed to go to. So, um, and then she proceeded to tell us that another one of our clients has nothing but good stuff to say about us at church. Um, that her lawn hasn't looked as good since her husband has died. Whoa. And then do you know want to know what my response was? That that client is scheduled weekly. I said, so there you go. There's your difference. We have clients that are scheduled weekly and their lawns look fabulous. I said, if you want to let it grow real long and then chop it off a whole lot, it's not going to look nice. So that was that. So guys, I own this one right here and there's nowhere to park in here. I'm not backing down that steeple driveway right there on my trailer. It'll bottom out and scrape up the driveway. So, I'm going to mow all that down. Well, obviously, you can see there's not really anywhere to park on this road here and here. It's a pretty main road. So, this lady pulls up to me because I park over here on this street. And she says, is that your lawnmower parked over there? Keep in mind, it's my 30 inch. It was on her grass a little bit. She came up and said, you need to go get that off my lawn. My husband's very particular with his lawn. As you can see, most of the lawn is dead weeds, and clovers, and it's garbage. But yet, she tells me he's very particular with his lawn. I'm pretty sure that looks pretty particular. So, if they come out and say something to me then, I'm just going to tell them, call the cops, and let them deal with it. Because I'm not parking on the main road and getting killed, or getting my vehicle hit. Because some person who looks like, I guess they're very wealthy, wants to be an a-hole. I'm out here trying to work my butt off, and earn a living, and they're crying about me parking on the side of the road and having my lawnmower on their grass like it's going to do anything well that's my rant guys 